Uh, <laughs> well, let's shift gears and uh, talk about uh, your award-winning short film uh, called The Car Wash. And this, of course, stars Edith Ivey. Uh, tell us a little bit about Edith and then uh, who I was so fortunate to meet last year at the Macon Film Festival. You had a documentary there, right? That's right. Fine, yeah. And uh, then you, you now have The Car Wash, which will be at this year's uh, Yes, this year's festival down in Macon, which is, by the way, where you shot Followed, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, it a, is. And it's not an yeah, accident well, That's great. <laughs> that's great. So uh, tell us a little bit about working with Edith, and uh, and then tell us about the car wash, and then we're going to play the whole movie. Um, well, you know, Edith, uh, I first met her a few years ago when I was actually shooting Theater of the Mind. Uh, we were uh, charged to produce a uh, short documentary for the National Association of Broadcasters, uh, Broadcast uh, Education Association, uh, for their convention in Las Vegas. They were kicking off a 10-year celebration of the golden age of radio, and uh, I was very privileged to uh, be able to direct that piece. Um, so we had about eight weeks to find performers from the golden age of radio, find historians, edit it, and put it all together in eight weeks uh, and get to Las Vegas. And that was quite an undertaking. Uh, now, now, Edith, Edith had yes. worked with all the greats, didn't she? Yeah. She did. She worked with everybody. She worked with Bob Hope. She worked, you know, uh, she did Howdy Doody. She uh, was actually on the pilot episode of Guiding Light when it was oh on gosh. the radio. <laughs> and in fact, some just a fun fact, you would not be able to watch all of the Guiding Light episodes produced in a lifetime. God, there are so just many. incredible. And then, uh, yeah. and then of course, um, uh, she was in Curious, Curious Case, Case of Benjamin Button, Button yes. uh, the, uh, the, the David uh, Fincher um, and uh, Brad Pitt right. film. Really, really good movie. And she played, uh, she played one of the ladies, the piano teacher. It's Maple. Yeah. It's Marple, yes, yeah. And, and she, uh, you know, it, it was interesting because when we, when I met her, uh, you know, when we were interviewing for Theater of the Mind, she uh, had mentioned that for her it was fascinating because she had started out in analog, you know, radio. That was where she started. And then she was in the first completely digital motion picture for Paramount and Warner Brothers. So she had run the entire gambit of, of entertainment from start to finish. So as you can imagine, having Edith around is almost like having an encyclopedic knowledge of yeah. everything in film and yeah, entertainment. Yeah, and she's production. so sharp <laughs> and, and so talented, as, as everyone will see in just a few minutes. And you were lucky enough to be able to have her available for this very touching film, and we're going to show it. Uh, I want to thank you so much, James, for joining us. And now we're going to take a look as James has been so uh, uh, has has been able to share with us his film uh, and here is the car wash uh, on the film fix That's not mine. The focus. Anyone? 
I drive a Taurus. The gas mileage is different. Really? The Focus gets better gas and the Fusion. Well, you still like your Taurus? Well, it's all right. I've never driven a Ford before. You sound like my grandma. Uh, she only drives Buicks and before that Oldsmobiles, uh, but they're not around anymore. My husband had a Grand Marquis. It's a Mercury, you know, but he wrecked it. And the insurance company only gave us enough money to buy a 2007 Taurus, so that's what we did. They're good cars. Well, I guess. He only got to drive it for a few weeks before he died. Um, sorry? He died right there in front of us. It was those stairs he'd been working on for a couple of weeks. He just fell off. We were all there and saw it. I could still see that. He hit his head, and I don't think he remembered anything. He didn't know what happened to him. At least that's what the doctor said. But I could still see it. He was so good to me. Even though we were just married for four years, I was a widow for 16, and I never thought I'd marry again. It's funny what life does to us. I drive a Jeep Compass. It looks like they'll be uh, discontinuing it. Is it a bad car? People haven't been buying it. Uh, the thing is, it's a good car, but people don't expect an urban Jeep. They expect it to be rugged. I think if Ford made it, it would have been a big hit. Like the Ford Fiesta. But people didn't want that little car in the 70s. You know they're bringing it back. The Fiesta? Yeah, in 2010. Do you think you'll be any more successful this time? If they market it right, maybe. I don't know. People seem to want those little Asian cars. They'll buy us out before very long. But I probably won't be around to see that. Taurus! Gray Ford Taurus! That's me. Whew. Thank you. That's very helpful. Yes, ma'am. I think I'll go grocery shopping. When my husband died, my daughter took me in, and I didn't have to shop anymore because she did all the cooking. I'm getting old, you see. I don't move as well as I once could. Everybody seems to be faster than I am. When I was a little girl, my daddy used to say, you reckon you'll ever amount to anything? <laughs> He's been dead 50 years, and I still miss him. Sometimes I cry so much that I have to stop and start again to get it all out. The thing I miss most about my daddy was his smile. He always left a smile with people. I used to take him to his Sunday school class, the young men's class. That was my one uh, break, my hour break from daddy. I was too young to understand then, but I understand now. My daughter feels the same way about me. And that is why I go as long as I can and while I can, to the grocery store and to the car wash, whatever, so that I won't feel so guilty about living with Poor her. Poor Taurus. That's me. <laughs> Thank you for being so kind to an old woman. I hope you don't have to wait too much longer. If you find that uh, your Taurus won't do, there's always a fiesta next year. I have reconciled myself that in life you can't have everything. But maybe so. Maybe so. You all ready to go now?
I'm James Kicklider. I'm the director of Followed, and you're watching The Film Fix.